it served as a pretty big foundation of our childhood. Good throw. Good throw. Jimmy and Joshua Carter grew up on the diamond. I like being able to sit back and enjoy the game. These days, the Chesterfield brothers prefer the game behind the fence. We have done, uh, you know, boys t-ball and boys little league. But now these former coaches hope to hit it out of the park with a pitch to the Chesterfield County public school system that they say should cover the bases of keeping kids out of trouble Good throw. and safe. My son, he's in ninth grade. He's gotten suspended a few times for vaping in the bathrooms. And then the alleged rape happened a couple months ago. And then at that point I said, you know, this, this has got to stop. The hardest thing we've ever gone through. After hearing the emotional interview of the mother of a 15 year old female student who was allegedly raped in a Thomasdale High School bathroom back in February. The solution we came up with that we think will work would be to have dads in the schools. The brothers introduced dads on duty to local school board members. It makes a big difference. Do you think you stumbled onto something here? Absolutely. I think absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. The Carter brothers got the idea from a Louisiana high school that successfully wiped out violence one dad at a time. And we're going to be in the hallways with you and we're going to be making sure that the bathrooms are clear and we're going to be making sure that you can come here and learn and not have to worry about being assaulted physically, sexually or anything so that you can be successful and, and you know, just be a child. The mission of Dads on Duty is to provide a positive male presence in local schools that will assist teachers and administrators. We want to be, like he said, that safe presence to know you can come to school, you're going to get your education, and you're going to go home the same way that you came in the building. Unlike some CCPS students allegedly involved in these fights, just in the last few weeks. It just seems every time there's something, a bathroom is involved, or we have another video where there's a, it's a corner hallway where there's probably obviously no teacher at, and there's a fight. And this poor kid in the video looks like he wants nothing to do with the fight that is happening, but he is getting beat up. And that shouldn't happen. You should be able to go to school and not worry about getting your face kicked in. I think that when we identify a problem as a community, if we don't come up with a solution, we are just aiding in the problem, right? And we have identified that there was a problem. And I applaud the board members for meeting with us uh, and taking that meeting. They are very receptive to what we had to say. I would feel good about it. I think it would be a positive influence for our young men, you know, um, to have a, have, a, have a male mentor in their life. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a hard thing to do, but I think it would be very valuable for them to be there and see what actually occurs in the school building. Get up a little bit, bud. These brothers are hopeful by fall, Chesterfield High Schools will be filled with dads on duty. Until then, they will drive their message home. We are offering you a solution, and we are asking that you not only contemplate and, and dwell on it, but to approve it and to allow us into your school system so that we can help facilitate a safe learning environment. And then from the parents, the, the dads, the grandpas, the uncles in the community. We're asking for your support too. The brothers say CCPS officials told them Meadowbrook, Matoica, and Thomasdale High Schools were already interested in the program. CCPS told us in part, quote, anytime we have an opportunity to increase parental involvement, engage parents with students, and create positive experiences and interactions for our CCPS students, it's a win-win situation. To learn more on how you can get involved, head to our website, WTVR.com.